Welcome back everyone. Today I've got something really cool to show you. So, the WoW community is pretty amazing. I mean, when it comes to solving problems that Blizzard either don't or don't want to solve, the community steps in in a major way. And we see it in add-ons, weak auras, community resources, and all that stuff. But now, one add-on dev has added a feature that is, um, yeah, it's kind of insane. Raid mechanic practice via an add-on in the game. So, I was browsing add-ons as I usually do, and I stumbled across one that I thought sounded really cool. I gave it a try. It's called X Practice, and it's a bit mind-blowing. I mean, look at it. Yeah, it's basically a WoW Raid practice minigame inside World of Warcraft. It kind of looks like WoW inside WoW. Now, the add-on creates a scene in a frame, and then it spawns in a copy of your character to move around, and then it throws specific raid mechanics at you, almost exactly how they happen in-game. Okay, obviously, without all the combat and stuff like that going on. And right now, there are only two available for Castle Nathria. We have Dark Veins Orbs and Shriekwing's Intermission but they're like perfectly, painstakingly implemented. The level of detail here is absolutely insane, especially with the like ghosts that are programmed to act as your allies when they're needed to, to pull off these mechanics like the Dark Vein Orbs. Sure, they're not quite representative of other players because, uh, you know, they do their job reliably and quickly, unlike most Dark Vein Orb uh, situations, but Look, this is genuinely awesome. I mean, given the amount of our own team scuffed pulls on Darkvein because of extra damage that people get from orbs, I mean, if we could just point our players to this tool, they could go spend 20 minutes, they could sit down, they could totally understand the mechanic, and bam, game changer. Absolute game changer. I really hope this add-on developer is working on something for uh, dodging um, Remordia before um, before we reach Denathrius Heroic. Um, also, that'd be a fun little game, because that's a really fun part of the Denathrius fight. Now, what's cool is that this is not the first add-on that Lua Viper, the dev, has made. X Practice is actually a new version of their old add-on called Training Grounds, which uh, supported a lot of the most important BFA raid mechanics. I mean, I sure wish I knew about that during Nihilotha, and I suppose if you missed out the BFA raiding and you want an odd little minigame, I guess you could try that to uh, get a slice of some of the fights. And then what's really cool is X Practice, it's got so much customization for all these things. And, you know, it just looks, you know, and feels so much better. So um, I really hope that, uh, you know, between the natural community finding out about this and uh, videos like this, then more people in the community find out about this, support the dev, and uh, the more stuff happens here because it's real cool. Now, as we went into in our recent video on improving World of Warcraft, a lot of the barrier to getting into raids is getting the experience, you know, on mechanics, actually feeling comfortable there. And this could be the perfect tool for, for those people, right? And it's accessible in-game in just a few seconds, right? Death rolling all of your gold away or alt tapping might feel like a good use of raid downtime, but instead you could just type in slash XP and you could practice your next boss. Is that not a pretty damn cool thing going on? You know, replace your, app, your laps of Ouroboros with that. Pretty cool, and we've got a few more super cool WoW things to show you in today's video, uh, but first, here is this month's, uh, well, this month's Patreon. We're revamping things. Number one, the pin. Now, this is a picture that is mid-crafting. It's not polished, it's not plated, uh, so, you know, the, the gold will come out a lot more, uh, but suffice to say, this will be very snazzy once it's done. We've also done a lot to shake up the art style. We're a little bit more watercolory, we're trying to capture a lot of coziness and all that stuff. Um, also, real cute sticker this time around, bunch more. That's what's up with the Patreon loot tier for January 2021. Massive way to support the channel. And, uh, you know, let's just say, as we move into the into the future, I'm really, the goal is to strike our own path forward and do things like that. So, um, you know, it's, it's all going to some real, real cool stuff. Okay, getting back to it. This is not the only way to practice raid mechanics. There's Castle Pineapplia. It's pretty cool. It's a 2D remake of Nathria. 
Uh, it's, you know, it's real, it's just fun for getting a quick feel of how the raid mechanics work. Um, and it's a fun little shoot em up too. Um, Axe Practice by contrast does feel like real world experience, which is, I think, a lot more uh, sort of valuable and useful and actionable. But Pineapplia is, uh, it's just a little bit of fun that also does teach you some World of Warcraft. And certainly the idea of firing up Unity and making a quick like mini gamified version of some of WoW's boss fights, that just seems like a really cool like sort of fan thing to do. So uh, yeah, Blizzard, you know, please, uh, just, I don't know, support this stuff, right? Let it, let it be a thing, you know? It's really cool. Um, I mean, it would be lovely to see Blizzard, like, promote stuff like this, but they usually, from my experience, really do not like um, talking up add-ons that much. Um, you know, they, they don't want that stuff to become the default experience, even though it really, I mean, is for, for almost all of us. But certainly, experiencing the raid mechanics uh, via something like this add-on I think this could really help uh, just people get into raids, right? Really cut down that anxiety and just make everybody uh, better. I mean, it, it's really crazy that this is going on now. Yes, there's not that many fights supported right now, but I just think this is such a promising thing for the future. So, how's it all going to shake out, right? Well, this is... Look, this is an incredible example of something that's happened a lot. Add-on solving problems. And... You know, if you've been around the game as long as I have, you know, we think back to uh, the thing that for Putricide and ICC were that you literally paint stuff on the floor that other people could see with their add-on. Um, you know, that was something that was so OP, Blizzard basically had to kill it. But it's an example of people seeing, you know, oh, add-ons could be a solution here and going for it. And that's just, uh, you know, a pretty cool thing. Now, it's also an age-old, uh, there's an age-old problem that this solves, right? And that is that, you know, before you are going to get invited to do a piece of content, the people inviting you will kind of want to see you've done it before, right? Now, if you're an ungilded player, this can be quite a problem. So I think an add-on like X Practice can give people that real-world-ish experience um, a lot more so than a video or a guide, right? And I think that could be uh, kind of useful for getting people into raiding. Now, I've also got to wonder if, like that Putricide and Stuff add-on that I mentioned, if Blizzard will let this stay, because players loved Enemy Grid, players loved World Quest Group Finder. Dead, right? Blizzard killed them. And in fairness to Blizz, I can see where they were coming from with that. And you could also say that experiencing mechanics in isolation, outside of the whole fight, you could see that as cheapening the experience, right? You're only supposed to encounter Darkfane when you get to Darkfane. You could sort of say that, but I mean, equally, uh, you know, how much do we even count LFR as, as gameplay? And you kind of get it by doing that. Uh, but anyway, I don't think that there's a big problem here. I think there's something Blizzard should absolutely allow. And uh, man, just the power of add-ons, it continues to grow. You know, raiding without a uh, weak ors or a boss mod is generally not a great idea, right? Blizzard, I mean, they design raids knowing people have got access to those tools. And sure, they're often not literally required, but man, sometimes Blizzard just slips in a mechanic there that really does feel like it's begging you to get a weak aura. So it's an interesting situation. And this video is also uh, essentially the perfect opportunity to highlight another incredible community project, and that is the Frost Mage redesign. Now, this is essentially a redesigned Frost Mage that's actually playable. Now, is it playable in-game with mechanics and graphics? No. Uh, so imagine something like this, but implemented in an add-on like the one we just talked about. Pretty neat, right? As it stands, though, you should really check out the Frost Mage uh, rework. It's uh, just got some really cool proposed changes and, you know, it's implemented as a playable rotation. So with that, you can actually feel the designer's intent. A really, really neat piece of design and a great example of the community just being able to do some really cool stuff. So imagine if that Frost Mage redesign actually was available via an add-on window. Wouldn't that be a neat little project? So overall, this is just a cool add-on. It really is, and man, add-ons are getting so advanced. You know, there's one we love, um, Narcissus. Um, I believe it's developed by Peter Yu, I think. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but it's called Narcissus, and it's like for transmog and taking pictures of your character and stuff. And man, it is so beautiful. Um, you know, you've got add-on stuff, um, like Goldpaw, Azerite UI, that look really, really just, you know, graphically rich and stuff. Um, you know, Azerite UI, I wouldn't play with it personally, but I mean, if you're imagining, you know, World of Warcraft on like a Nintendo Switch and like a very sort of different kind of game, but man, it looks really polished. 
um, and just other things. You know, Console Port by, uh, by Monk, who worked with us on um, WoW Tales. Remember that. Uh, and Immersion that he did as well. I mean, it's just so cool what's going on with add-ons these days. And I think I see stuff like, you know, X practice, and it just fills me with a bit of excitement and joy. You know, it's a little mind blow to type in slash XP and see a like a sort of, you know, bootleg version of World of Warcraft be there in a window inside your World of Warcraft where you can control and play it. Really cool. That's basically it for today's video. This is just a cool thing. Download it, give it a shot. You know, it'll be a neat little 20, 30 minutes for you. And hey, if you happen to be uh, wanting to, you know, practice your orbs for Dark Vein, pretty good for that. And uh, hopefully this add-on developer um, just experiences, you know, more people coming to the project. And uh, then future raids, we get to see more mechanics because it's a really inspiring project. It's just really cool. I think the sharing stuff like this is, um, you know, it's just fun and good. So let me know if you've seen any add-ons that have blown your mind in a similar fashion. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you next time.